Indian County Sheriff says fentanyl and opioid overdoses are a problem in Oklahoma jails. Uh, recently, correctional officers uh, have had to save multiple inmates from overdoses. Uh, lately, News Force Caitlin Ogle talked to the sheriff about what exactly is behind the problem and how it's getting inside. It's it's like a whole community in and of itself that's in there. Canadian County Sheriff Chris West says on May 18th, multiple inmates overdosed on something on the same day. We had four uh, of our residents uh, that were found to be either unconscious or clearly they were on drugs. It's not clear if it was fentanyl or another opioid. Either way, the Narcan worked and the inmates were taken to a hospital, then released. So how's it getting inside? Sheriff West says it's through inmates who spend the weekends in jail or trustees who are well-behaved inmates trusted to do chores around the facility. They're trusted to go to the trash cans and bring stuff, so that's happened. Visitors have brought it in and, and stashed it. Uh, in, in bathrooms and then later trustees can pick it up and of course body cavities. Last year the sheriff bought a $150,000 full body scanner but human error doesn't catch everything. Sheriff West says the Canadian County Jail isn't special and many jails across the country are dealing with the same problems like employee turnover. Right now Canadian County has nearly 40 positions open. So you're having to retrain people a lot. But the root of the problem? The sheriff says it's inmates with mental health issues self-medicating with street drugs. That creates a vicious cycle while being locked up. We as a society have kind of turned our back on these people. And we're going to spend the money one way or another uh, to take care of them. Unfortunately, a lot of them end up in jails. The sheriff says although they pay extra for psychological care, he says it's just not enough. I really wish that we would build mental health facilities and treat these people as patients rather than as prisoners. In Canadian County, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, even though all four inmates survived, there's an overwhelming trend of jail deaths due to fentanyl overdoses. In fact, they account for a quarter at the Oklahoma County Detention Center last year. Yeah, and there are efforts, of course, to slow down, if not stop those numbers, but is enough being done? The leading cause of death right now for people under 50 is accidental overdose. Fentanyl deaths are a problem statewide, but they're also a problem behind the doors of many Oklahoma jails. Efforts being made both in the jail and out to stop it. Heath Hayes, the state's mental health spokesperson, says one's Narcan, the drug used to save someone if they're having an overdose, being packed into vending machines. News 4 told you about this two weeks ago, and now we've learned how soon the drug could get in the hands of those who need it. I think there's about 10 of them that are coming in next week. I think the Tulsa Center for the Homeless is going to be one of the very first ones because they asked um, to, to have a vending machine there. Um, Sunnyside Diner. But that doesn't solve our skyrocketing numbers in our jails. Michigan this year sent the machines to their jails. Bringing those vending machines to the jails, is that something you guys are open to or what do you think about it? We, we haven't really thought about putting vending machines in jails, but I will tell you um, that we have... Uh, there's been some legislation just recently passed that requires us to provide naloxone to people who are discharging. Naloxone, similar to Narcan, shown to save lives, he says it passed last week and it could be in prisoners' hands by July. Uh, might not be the answer, uh, Hayes says. They're still looking for ways to combat the overall issue, both out of the jail and in it. Yeah, but it could be a start for could sure. Be. All right.